in a place in Dixie that hardly anybody knows about, there's something here that affects everyone in Oklahoma. These right here are records that we have dating back to, I think, approximately 1956. They actually look like this when they were recorded on the paper drums. And they need to be scanned and put into a mainframe computer, but these are all priceless. I mean, once they're scanned, it will be a little bit more settling for me, but as of right now, these are all that's in existence for the state's history of seismicity. This is an actual seismometer. This is what the inside of um, the orange canisters that we put in the ground that monitor the motion, these are what they look like. When there's a tornado, does this show up on your screen? Um, it does if it's right over the seismic site. Um, we actually have a half mile deep borehole way on the back of the property and it's actually one of the deepest in the continental United States. So you're going to tell us a little more about Dr. Lawson? Yes, Dr. Lawson was here probably actually in the majority of his career and he was killed in an automobile accident uh, several years ago. He was hit by a driver that was texting and it killed Dr. Lawson and his three-year-old granddaughter was in the back seat. She survived, thankfully, but um, she's still going to counseling just for that because he died right there. I mean, he lived till he got to the, they life flight him to the hospital, but he died there. And his legacy lives on. Yes, and that is my life mission, to make sure this place remains on the map and remains an integral part of the science community, which we are. But I will never, ever, you know, think I could let him down in that way.